Don't let expectations ruin the moment. I bet you have plenty of little pleasures in life, simple and totally within reach, that make you blissfully happy. But somehow, you don't allow yourself to enjoy them as much as you could. Sometimes, it's because you just can't find that little sliver of time you need for your moment of hedonistic joy. I get it. Keep calm. That's why I'm here. But other times, you skip those pleasures not because of time, but because you've built this image in your mind. Basically, you're making a movie for yourself of how that pleasure should happen. And since it doesn't quite fit into your day-to-day, -day, you just end up passing on it. Picture this. First sunny beach day after months of cold weather. You've been waiting for this day forever. You dig out last year's bikini, put it on, look in the mirror, and bam! You look like a sausage wrapped in twine. And what do you do? Not go to the beach. Ridiculous, right? Or this. It's Saturday evening. You're sprawled on the couch watching The Princess Bride for the hundredth time. Then your friend texts, they're all meeting up in an hour for dinner and drinks. Want to join? It's exactly what you need. Some adult conversation and fun. But your hair is a hot mess, and there's no time to fix it and look all glam. So you pass, even though you'd rather be out partying. And let's not even get started on those moments when a glorious night with someone is on the horizon. But you bail because you're not, say, groomed to perfection, or because you're wearing your ugly underwear just because a bit of life happened. This is what I call the Nutella jar effect. Imagine this. You want to have a quiet night with cheese and wine. But not just any cheese and wine. You're picturing that movie scene where everything's perfect. Picture it. A crystal glass of wine, neatly cubed cheese, and someone in a fabulous outfit, makeup and all, sipping delicately while prepping dinner. Maybe filet mignon, something fancy, now back to reality. You're exhausted, no earrings, makeup, or glam outfit, and the thought of filet mignon is miles away. You're going for a quick tuna omelet. Plus, your wine glass is probably the big Nutella jar you saved. So you're pouring wine in that jar, nibbling on chunks of cheese straight from the block, and prepping dinner. Soon, you're alternating bites of cheese with sips of wine, drinking from that Nutella jar, and trying to get the omelet going. Somewhere in between, you realize, wait, wasn't I supposed to be making dinner? But four glasses later, who's counting? Suddenly, your five-minute omelet turns into a grand affair that takes an hour. Your partner, who has been off walking the dog or folding laundry, sees you emerge with one sad omelet and innocently asks, what took so long? You, somewhat wine-fueled, respond with, slicing cheese is a commitment. And they're like, what cheese? Look, these pleasures are right there, simple and satisfying, but we often dismiss them because they don't match that little movie we have in our head of how they're supposed to look. We tell ourselves that crystal glasses, manicures, and perfect hair are the essentials. And since what we've got is Nutella jars and pajamas, we think we can't have the good stuff, but you can. Believe me, no cheese police are going to knock down your door, so go for it. Go be happy. You deserve a fun night out, even if your hair's a mess. You're worthy of enjoying the beach, even if you feel like a sausage in a swimsuit. Next time you start passing on something because it doesn't meet the fantasy version in your head, remember what really matters. What makes you happy is the wine, not the glass. <laughs>